Here's a thought experiment. Imagine a veterinarian is studying a rare species of monkey that is possibly at risk for a new and deadly disease. The veterinarian needs to safely capture the monkey using a tranquilizer gun, but they know that as soon as they fire the trigger, the monkey will hear the sound and let go of the branch falling to the ground. Should the veterinarian aim their tranquilizer gun above the monkey, at the monkey, or below the monkey to ensure that they collide? Let's find out. Here is my tranquilizer gun, and approximately three meters to my right is my monkey hanging from a tree. I'm going to aim the laser directly at the monkey and see if it hits. So the dart hit the monkey exactly. This is because as soon as it leaves the tranquilizer gun, the only force it is subject to is gravity, just like the monkey who's in free fall. This means that the dart will drop a small vertical distance from its aim trajectory. By the time that it reaches the tree, the monkey has dropped the same vertical distance that the dart has, so they collide. In this case, the speed of the dart doesn't actually matter. A slower moving dart will simply collide with the monkey closer to the base of the tree.